Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. The next setting you're going to want to know about with supports is the enable support interface section. Now basically what this is going to do, and it's this setting right here, is print a skin layer in between the support itself and the model itself. This allows for really easy removal and it reduces the actual interface of the support with the model itself. So basically it creates another shell on the support side that just peels away and leaves you with a nice clean smooth surface. Now. Uh, you can turn off the support roof and support floor that generates a dense slab of material between the bottom of the support in the model or the top of the support in the model and then it will just do support on rounded sides or uh, vertical faces where support meets at an angle so I definitely recommend using the support interface there are some settings down below it that you can increase the thickness um, this is a really, really thick support interface thickness. It's almost a millimeter of filament just to prevent contact with the uh, model itself. So that's kind of a little bit of a waste. I have that quite high. I don't think I need that quite that high. Uh, we do need to change the resolution to be close to our line height. That way it's not printing two of them per line and wasting travel time. Um, I can set this to point three. Let's do a multiple of our magic numbers. So let's do 0.36 because that's a multiple of our nozzle, nozzle width and support interface density is set to one third. So um, the interface is not going to be a full 100% sheet. It's going to be a almost like the separate layers of a raft where it is layered and individually stacked. So this is going to help tremendously there is also a support interface pattern. So the basic patterns are here, lines, grid, triangles, concentric, and zigzag. And if you've seen any of the previous videos, you kind of already know what those patterns will do for you. So all of these settings are pretty much interlinked from support interface thickness, all the, or excuse me, from enable support interface all the way down to minimum support interface area. Now, this is saying that you need basically 10 millimeters of square surface area and able to use this feature. You can turn it down so it puts that skin on even the smallest amount of support where it meets the model. But in most cases, those little places are easily just flaked off and removed anyway. This is more for large flat surfaces where you don't want to be peeling off the support line by line or pulling it out of there with clippers groove by groove. Um, it works really well. I recommend giving it a shot and we are going to move on to the next one. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.